I'm Laura Ansel, and this is a Northport News Break. According to the National Recreation and Park Association, trails help protect natural places and make communities more livable and connected. Trails are so integral to our quality of life that three in four U.S. adults agree that they are important to have access to for public walking, hiking, and biking trails, and they prefer that they're close to home. I'm thrilled to share that the city recently finished construction on the new Myakahatchee Creek Greenway Trail. Here to tell us more about this exciting project is Kimberly Lenski, the Community Engagement and Partnership Manager with the Parks and Recreation Department. Welcome, Kim. Hi, Laura. Thank you for joining us today. So can you tell us a little bit about the new Greenway Trail? So the Myakahatchee Creek Greenway Trail is a one-mile passive pedestrian and bike trail that's located adjacent to the Myakahatchee Creek, providing a linear park experience to residents. It serves as a safe pedestrian connection between West Price Boulevard and Appomattox Boulevard. So Kim, what does that mean that it's a like a passive experience? Yeah, it's a trail that has been preserved in much of its lush and natural straight state as uh, that's one of our primary goals um, with this trail improvement. Okay, interesting. Um, so what was the inspiration for creating the trail? Was there a specific need it addressed or opportunity? This project was brought forward um, from an annual community needs survey that was conducted by the Parks and Recs Department. And out of that survey, it was the most requested amenity by the residents, um, which doesn't surprise us because, like you just stated, the National Recreations and Park Association, um, 84% of the U.S. adults seek a nearby high-quality park and recreation when choosing a place to live. So with that, it makes sense that the community requested a project like this. So by creating it, the Greenway Trail um, helps protect and promote Northport's natural resources and community wellness. It also provides a safe and convenient place for residents to exercise. Nice. Okay, so this is a really gr- a project that's a great example of how the city heard from our residents what they wanted, put that plan into action, and, and helped deliver an amenity that, that the people were requesting. Yes, exactly. Yeah, perfect. That's fabulous. So um, do we have any plans for future development or expansion of the trail? Yeah, um, as it was mentioned, um, the the plan is part of a master plan, which was actually created in 2007. This is just one phase of that um, multi-phase endeavor as the city of Northport intends to establish a dedicated greenway corridor along the Myakahatchee Creek that's located within the city limits. Fantastic. Okay. And and how is the trail, the new trail, accessible to people who have uh, disabilities? For those with mobility needs, the trail is completely paved, making it easy for those uh, with disabilities to enjoy. And we have easy access um, entrances at both ends of the trail. So, Kim, what are some tips for people who are planning to use the trail for the first time? Like, where should they park? What do they need to know? Sure. Um, anyone that's hiking for the first time should go wearing a good pair of sneakers. We're in the wildlife and they don't go away just because we've built this beautiful new trail. Um, second, always be aware of your surroundings. Again, wildlife. And thirdly, I would say anybody that's choosing to go alone, definitely let somebody know where you're going so that you have a backup. All right. And and for visitors parking, where can they park to yeah. enjoy this experience? Sure. If you're entering from the West Price Boulevard entrance, uh, you'll want to park at Butler Park and then walk to the entrance. And on the Appomattox side, you can just pull in and park and then you'll enter from there. All right. Fabulous. So thank you, Kim, for joining us for this episode. Appreciate you sharing your knowledge. For the latest on the Parks and Recreation programs and upcoming events, make sure to visit northportfl.gov forward slash playbook. You can also call them at 941-429-PARK. That's 941-429-7275. Thank you for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next news break.